Hello everyone, there is a new version of Terrain Mixer in town and this time it comes as an add-on. More precisely, it comes as Blender extension. So hopefully soon you'll be able to install it for free uh, directly from the Blender's extensions library. So for now, I will just install it from my computer. Let's go here, go to preferences, then go to extensions tab, get extensions tab, then go here to this drop down, install from disk. I will find it uh, here. You see this zip file, select it and install from disk. Now you can see terrain mixer here, right? And if I close this and press N, my end panel will show up and I will go to the terrain mixer tab. Here you will see this cute little menu with only six links for now. You will see that up here in the header we have this terrain mixer version exposed. This button here that says terrain mixer will import terrain mixer to your scene. This button will add a world material. And with this button you can fix clipping distance in the 3D viewport. Then we have resources, free high res inputs, support and uh, terrain mixer manual. Now before I proceed with importing terrain mixer to my scene, I will uh, go here and choose rendered viewport shading. And I will first press this button that says add TM world material. So this happens. And this is just because I want to have a nice light uh, when I import terrain mixer, which I will do now. So I'll press terrain mixer and uh, choose GPU compute. So here it is. And now it will work a bit faster. Next step select this uh, object here, this terrain object, go to item, close the transform because I don't need it right now and open these properties. So with these properties you can do a lot. Uh, you can change the influence of each input and you can see the preview here on these four smaller terrains. So each of these uh, shows what's happening with uh, each of the height inputs. So, for example, if I move left, right, you see that now the first input has a lot more influence or all of the influence between these two. I can move this back. I can control the influence between all four. So, in favor of the first two and then in favor of the second two and so on. You can play with this. Uh, if you hover any of these values, you can just uh, press backspace and it will go to the default. You can also control the most important of these uh, values here by going to the modifiers list and enabling this input controllers modifier. Let me just open this modifier just exposed the the values here so now some of these won't work because you will have them here so for example if i select this slider and move it all the way to the left i can have input one more uh, pronounced and if i want to i can go here select this slider press g and move it to the right now I have changed the source for my first input. So because each input has two sources that you can also mix. Okay. Now back here, I will select this uh, bigger terrain again. And if I want any of these to stay um, pinned to, to, to this uh, sidebar here, I will just click on this toggle pin and now when I select any of these I will still have uh, these uh, modifiers visible for this uh, big terrain. 
let's go back to the terrain mixer panel let's see what other buttons we have here and why are they useful you'll see we can add uh, terrain mixer workspaces which means besides these workspaces available here you can also add uh, terrain mixer wor workspaces some of you won't need them but if you're like a total noob this might be helpful so if I press this button you will see new workspaces appeared so if I go for example here you will see this workspace that is uh, perfectly adjusted to work with the terrain mixer especially in the 3d viewport then you also see uh, this terrain mixer plus nodes workspace so this shows you uh, how it looks like in the backend and then you also have terrain mixer plus texture nodes workspace and so on you can explore it then there's also this pack resources and unpack resources so this only makes sense if you go here and press save as and i will save this as the m practice one okay if i click this pack resources you will see down here all resources are marked for packing i will press save i will click unpack resources and then you'll get this info message saying all resources are unpacked so if i go here again you will see this uh, directory this folder that's named textures i will open it and you will see all these textures that were included with uh, the terrain mixer as mentioned before you can download uh, high resolution inputs this is just the starter pack for terrain mixer installation cheers Thank you.